get into it before the sun goes down. Holy crap. I almost forgot how much juice this thing has. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel guys. First off, I want to say thank you for everyone that's loving the content on YouTube. We've gained over 20,000 subscribers in the last week. We got some more pit bike content for you. So if you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss the uploads we got coming here soon. But first off, I want to warn you, this content might be a little bit scattered because if you guys see, we kind of already built the pit bike. Shh. So about a month ago, we got all of our parts in. I filmed some of the unboxing. I filmed some of the install. I just haven't went through the footage yet and I don't know exactly what I filmed yet, but I know it wasn't a full video. So we're gonna jump back to that. Make sure you pay close attention so you know how we got to where we're at now. Let's roll that footage and then we'll catch you back up to where we are today. Hey. Man, you really like revving that engine, don't you? Yeah. Well, guess what? Shut her off. I guess that's one way. When we're done with the parts we're going to be putting on, we shouldn't be able to bulk it out like that again. There's another box. Oh, we even got more stuff. Yep. Oh, looky there. We got all of our parts we need for this TTR 110 bike build. Shout out to the boys over at tbparts.com for hooking us up with all the parts we need to turn this TTR 110 into a full pit bike build. Right now, Caden and I are going to do some unboxing. We're going to see what TB Parts sent us. Let's tear into it. Into this box. I think I haven't a clue what it is. It's quite heavy. Oh, looky there. We got our 350 pound rear shock. Once it's thick, you want to need that. Oh, easy there, bud. But it has the adjustable fast and slow setting. That is much needed for our TTR 110, especially considering I'm like 180 some pounds. Yeah, stop eating so much. <laughs> Then we tear into this. What is this thing called? That's called the front fork. Yes, sir. A full front fork assembly. Most of you guys run the BBR spring kit and the BBR dampening rods. This thing saves us so much time. We just bolt up and go. Here is the other one. Doesn't she look so pretty? Yeah. Imagine if we could bolt these up to your XR50. We might have to try that in a minute. Oh, yeah. And then you can hit some jump. So there is our suspension component. That's definitely going to be 100% our first mod. Definitely needs some... Uh, <laughs> Let's move these out of the way and let's bring in this box right here. We got these cables. It looks like we have an extended uh, throttle cable, extended brake cable. We're gonna need those for, it looks like, our handlebars. Check those out. These are a high bend. Definitely gonna need these for the handling. These TTR 110 bars are just way too small for adults. Is it a surprise? Yeah, I actually wonder what this is. I could think clamps maybe. The 110 spacer kit for the rear shock. I think I need that because I think that's universal between the CRF and a TTR 110. It's the spacer kit for this part right here. Not sure why you needed this much wrapping paper though, but hey, more the merrier. Wait a second. What is this? You know what? Hand me that other box. I think I know what we got. Move this out of the way. Handlebars and cables and suspension. Okay. And this looks like we have a box full of goodies. I don't know what that is. Wait a second. Did you order us a big bore kit? Yeah, I figured your 110 was kind of slow. I think this will definitely do the trick. This would explain the gaskets. That might be a Wait, carb a carburetor. Wait, you're telling me we're doing the full setup. A big bore kit, a carburetor, suspension, handlebars. Turns out this is a 26 millimeter carburetor, a lot bigger than the stock carburetor. The stock carburetor on the TTR 110 can't handle enough fuel and air capacity to take full advantage of our big bore kit. A second what do we got here that's for whiskey whiskey they're blowing that see how's that yeah it smells bad oh yeah what the well we got our upgraded air filter that's going to take care of our air box you know how when you rev that thing to the rev loaner it sometimes bogs out yeah we're going to fix that what is this part right here that's a gear shifter gear shifter what color is your gear shifter my gear shifter is um brown brown I'm you because you ate so much dirt right here we have our uh the other carburetor um i don't really know what this means i just know it bolts somewhere near the carburetor okay Caden, what is this thing that is the front nothing the front nothing yeah earlier you said it was the baffles which i do understand why you thought that because when we took the baffles out on your bike they do kind of look like this this right here is a billet throttle cable um i think all you really need to know is a uh, whiskey throttle you're going to be doing that sometime <laughs> she's done she's done and then we have our box right here yeah piston kit 55.5 millimeter piston oh look how shiny Ooh. Whoa, this thing's gonna make some serious power, I think. You gonna ride the bike after it's done? I oh, maybe. Huh? I don't know. Last time I was at, I was at the dealership, I might have. I might have read it too hard and they kicked me off. What's your cars? I'll 
Is he actually gonna do some donuts? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. So you're not out of the dealership anymore? No. Dad, ask him for the key real quick. Let me the sink the little rip. Okay, sir. And then what is this? A uh, foam air filter. Um, sir, didn't we just unpack one of these? I think so. Oh, so uh, what That's is this? Uh, yeah, the other one's right there. Yeah, two foam air filters. Must think we were really uh, hitting the dirt hard. Here, um, eat up. I heard these are actually edible. No, I actually think they are. I think they're made of cornstarch. Eat at your own risk, but um, that's what my science teacher told me before. And then we have our sticker kit, tbparts.com. Once again, shout out. They hooked us up. We're about to build the most solid TTR 110 pit bike build out there. And you're going to take this for a ride when we're done, right? Yeah, I'll just wreck a couple times. You probably will. But yeah, that's our parts. Let's get these onto the bike. Wow, that was a cluster. Anyways, I hope you watched that. That'll kind of explain how we got to where we are today with the bike now. So what you're looking at is a 2021 Yamaha TTR 130. That's what I'm calling it now because it does have the 130cc TB parts big board kit. And I'm not kidding, it livened this thing up 100%. This thing actually kind of rips now. We're gonna go over some of these mods and then we can do a little bit of ripping before it gets dark. Now we're running into the fall months and we know what that means. I mean, shorter days and we got more ripping to do. Let's jump right into it. We got the TB parts front fork. This probably made the biggest difference because it increased our ride height like an inch and three quarters which is kind of a big deal because if you guys know in the stock form this thing kind of scrapes foot pegs every single turn and it overall does not have enough travel you bottom out on pretty much every single bump let's jump into this rear shock we got a dnm 350 pound rear shock that thing made a world of a difference too it brought the ride height i think like an inch and a half to two inches so overall this thing got like a two inch lift kit two inches doesn't sound like it made a big difference but uh Ask your mom. I'm just kidding, but two inches a lot whenever you're considering it's riding a lot higher in the stroke now. It made a world of a difference when you scrape foot peg before and now you don't scrape foot peg. So those two inches are actually used for travel now. Two inches of extra travel, I will take it. Anyways, let's jump to the engine components. We have the TB Parts 130cc big bore kit. Then we have the 26 millimeter TB Parts carburetor. So if you guys have been watching the TikToks, I actually did the big bore kit and then I took it for a ride with the stock carburetor. Then I did a big bore kit and added the 26 millimeter carburetor install and then I rewrote it. To be honest, I had a more noticeable difference after I added the carburetor. So just doing a big bore kit is not the way to go. You wanna do the big bore kit and the carburetor. And wow, does this thing have like three times the amount of low end torque now? Other than that, we have a billet throttle body. We have a shifter. I do have a set of foot pegs in there. I have a couple other parts we're gonna throw on. We've got some new tires coming this week. I have quite a few more parts to throw on this thing before I call it done. Heck, we're still rocking the stock graphics and it says TTR 110. This is a TTR 130 now. If you guys didn't get the memo yet, we're giving this pit bike away actually. I just launched the whole CE Boosted Collection Apparel and merchandise on calebeckner.com currently we're running 45 times the entries on every dollar spent so if you guys want a fully modified pit bike today would be your chance to get entered 45 times the entries is as high as we're going and we're going down from there anyways let's jump into it we got some ripping to do we'll set the good old iphone over there it's been like freaking two weeks since i rode this thing because it's been raining for like non-stop ever since i got back from the beach let's do some much needed throttle therapy this puppy's got to warm up for a second here we should be good to go. Guys, here is the difference of the big board. Look how much low end this has. We're like, what, 20 feet from the jump and we're gonna gas it, ready? Holy, oh boy, we dug up the yard. My dad is gonna be pissed. Let's go over here. Oh, whoa, whoa. A little, little bit wet there, but at least it's not muddy. Get into it before the sun goes down. Whoa. Holy crap, I almost forgot how much juice this thing has. Woo. Oh yeah, oh yeah, a little bit slick. Good thing we got new tires coming. We're gonna break in this burn a little bit, it's been a while. Holy, let's go buddy. second gear on this thing just eats it up dude we're ripping the dirt up we did put an order in like monday for some new tusk tires i haven't tried them out yet but the price was right and they looked pretty solid i like all the other tusk products anyways let's give this thing another go 
Let's try it this way though. Woo Holy freaking crap. There we go. How are you doing? Holy, holy crap. Definitely a lot of power for a little frame, that's for sure. And, oh, oh, oh. We're like blowing this berm out. Maybe if I try to cut in a little bit here and get on the inside here, we can uh, try to stay away from them trees a little bit. But yeah, I'm not kidding. Second gear on this thing just eats this up. There we go. Throw a little whips on the tater. Let's go. Holy crap. One time over there, this thing just spins. Oh, we almost looped it out there, guys. We need to settle down for a second. It's a little wet for these tires we got on right here. Oh, dude, we almost the front tire slid there. Holy crap, our front tire slid right there. I almost hate it, guys. I don't want to be in the garage here. We better just put this away for the rest of the night. It's kind of chilly out here. Anyways, I guess I can show you the new foot pegs I got for it. They're over here in this box. Oh yeah, I peeped the new seat cover for the YZ. I'm tired of people bullying me. This seat cover right here is way too loose. See, it is way too loose and the previous owner like glued it to the stock seat cover. So we gotta get rid of them both and replace it with a nice fresh seat cover. Anyways, here's our foot pegs and these things are gonna be night and day difference because uh, first off, they're blue. Who does not want colored foot pegs? Got the blue bike, blue foot pegs. I'd call these foot pegs ankle breakers. There ain't no way they're stopping my size 12 foot, but as for a kid, they're not bad. Just sizing up through the package though, they're gonna be so much bigger and I cannot wait to get them on. We have grips on the way. So I ordered these foot pegs off Amazon. I didn't realize that there was gonna be this much custom fabrication just to get them to fit, but I had to get the Dremel out because when you put them on the pit bike, the hole doesn't quite line up, so we had to Dremel the sides of the foot peg a little bit so it can go in a little bit deeper. But the other side's on, it looks so sweet. We'll show you here in a second, but at the Dremel out, I gotta do a little more Dremeling to get this one to fit. There you are, nice day to do a little bit of ripping. How about it? Yeah. Wanna put the GoPro on and do a lap? Sure. All right, go do some ripping, bud. Hello. Do like two laps. Oh, that You just start dremeling till it doesn't hit anymore. Well, here we have it. The real question is at what point does it become weak? Anyways, we'll figure that out on the test ride if it fits. That's the update for the TTR 110, I mean 130. But anyways, we're getting back into the groove of this YouTube stuff, so bear with me for a second. In the meantime, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Help me with the YouTube algorithm. Let me know what bike you ride in the comments down below, and we will be delivering some serious riding content. We got this pit bike half modded. We have a project we're starting next week on the XR50. Please, in the meantime, you can check out my TikTok videos, Caleb Eckenrode. I post almost daily there. But as far as the YouTube videos, we will see you in the next video. Have a good day. Peace.